two fatal police-involved shootings in just two weeks. Now residents are calling for change, and the attorney for one of the men killed by police says HPD needs to be more transparent and release the rest of the footage. Jen Beniza reports. One day after HPD released the body cam footage of what they say is the justified shooting of Lindani Miani, protesters gathered here in Waikiki pleading for justice. Get on the ground now. The video is disturbing. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. <laughs> The Miani family attorney says so many questions remain about how things went down. They're asking to see the 911 tapes and all additional footage. There's a lot we don't have. They've only given us the footage where they chose to start it with the fight. We don't know what preceded, what preceded that alleged fight. HPD's focus on what happened later is focusing on the wrong aspect of this. What is clear and HPD has acknowledged is the officers didn't announce themselves. Bickerton says Miani looks calm in the first frame of the video until the officer points a gun at him, shines a flashlight in his face and tells him to get down. All of us are required to obey the law, law order of a police officer, but we're not required to obey the, law, the just the random order of people shouting us to get on the ground when they're waving a gun. He claims their behavior shows discrimination. I'm not sure that they would have done this to anyone who didn't look like Lindani. Dozens lined Kalakaua Avenue Saturday protesting against police brutality, seeking justice. We're just tired, you know, and something's got to change. Me and he was killed Wednesday night after police responded to a burglary call. Earlier in the month, police shot and killed a 16-year-old boy during a car chase. He was driving a stolen car linked to a burglary, purse snatching, car theft, and an armed robbery. There's a lot of pushback in terms of people deserving what's happening because of um, perceived criminality. Even those suspected of a crime are allowed due process. Harvey says police should have de-escalated the situation, but they didn't. They came there with the um, perception that this was an enemy. I understand that he was potentially trespassing and that that must have been very frightening for the homeowners, and I don't minimize that at all, but I just focus on the police response. Police said Friday that the footage shows Miani attacking the officers, and they had no choice but to take action. Bickerton says they are hiring a forensic expert to view the tapes. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.